Hi everybody. Today I have an Apple Newton EMA 300 that I'm going to give you a quick tour demonstration of. Um, the EMAs were only sold to the educational market, but then later released to the public for sale. It still has its original inventory markings right there. You can s barely see it, 8-4. It also has a PCMCIA port, a headphones jack, a infrared port, a serial port, and then when you flip it the other way, you get a interconnect port. So let's start off this demonstration by turning it off. That's what it looks like when it's on. And as you can see, it is plugged into the power to the power right now. It is getting a, a charge to the battery. The battery does retain a full charge and it does uh, have a battery life of about three hours. Uh, the battery was dead when I first turned it on before this video because it hasn't turned on in a few months. So here we go. Um, here's the, it is running Newton OS 2.1 and here's the list of, it, of the applications it has. Calculator, call, card, classroom doc, clock, dates, doc, formulas, help, in, out, name, notes, owner info, preferences, setup, styles, teacher setup, time zones, works, and writing practice. So let's start off this demonstration by going to works. And let's do a new paper. And instead of typing in the title, we're going to draw it in. Kind of got mixed up there. Hold on. Okay, and it went in. All right, now the title was renamed to Newton. And here we go. Put my pin over there. All right. All right, and here's the test sentence I wrote. The Apple Newton e 300 by Apple Computer Incorporated. Cupertino, California. I hope I said Cupertino right. Anyway, it's just a quick example of its word processing abilities. And also it has um, all the all the things that you, you are used to. Um, like, for example, it has changed the font style, the, uh, the font size, and more stuff. Also, it also has, you can print the document, fax it, beam it, duplicate it or delete it. We're going to delete it. And now we're going to do a new drawing. Show the drawing capabilities of this Newton. And we're going to draw the Newton logo, which is the logo down here, for those of you, for those of you who don't know. And we're going to write it in again. Newton logo. All right, and there it goes. It wrote it in. Title again is transformed to Newton logo. And we're going to draw the little light bulb symbol. Here we go. Let's select the little doodle icon. Right pin size and everything. All right. And write in Newton right here directly on the screen. And you also have, you can put an apple if you want. And it's just showing you uh, how you can draw stuff on the Newton. You can draw different shapes. Uh, when you put in the shapes icon, you can do, uh, I'm sorry, that was, uh, yeah, that was the shapes icon. Let's try this one. You can do that. Did it do it? Oh, I see. There it goes. And it draws a straight line. Or you can do here, and it'll connect it. You can do here, and it'll make a 
sort of like a triangular uh, type uh, object, which is kind of odd looking. But anyway, you get the idea of uh, the Newton's drawing capabilities. Let's uh, delete this document. Okay, let's exit out of the Newton, of the, I'm sorry, the Works application. And now we can try something else. We can try the calculator. It does have its own calculator. Input 36 times 2,657. And it equals exactly 95,652. Another quick example of it, what it can do. Also, there is time zones applications. This one comes in pretty handy. Say if you want to know how far San Francisco is uh, all the way to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So, click on Tokyo, Japan. That's, I guess, is the default one, I guess. And let's go to Japan. Click on that on that and there's Brazil right here alright and there's Rio de Janeiro right there and it is exactly 600 I'm sorry 6,620 miles away and there you can see the location of it the little square and it can also tell you a few things of it like the clocks if it's 6 28 a.m. in San Francisco, then it's going to be 10.28 a.m. in Rio de Janeiro, and it'll be the same day also. It'll also tell you the country info. Brazil has a country code of 55. That's kind of neat. Tells you a few other things, the city info. And their area code to Rio de Janeiro is 21. It's kind of unique area code. So let's exit out of that application. And finally, let's go to another application. Uh, w actually, let's go to formulas. You can go to a metric conversion. And this converts uh, temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. It can also do length, area, weight, US liquid, British liquid, and temperature, like I just said. Oh, let's select temperature. And let's Let's say you want to find out what's 115 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius. Type in 115, and that is exactly 46.11 degrees Celsius. So that's pretty neat. Let's clear that. And you can also do a loan payment to estimate your monthly payment on a house. Um, net percent value, currency exchange, date calculator, and date conversion. So let's exit out of formulas. And let's finally, let's go to writing practice. And let's type, let's uh, write in the word public. This is for uh, handwriting practice. And it gave us a 78% accuracy rate. So it looks like I need a little bit more practice on my handwriting. I have sloppy handwriting anyway. So anyway, gives you a quick idea of what that what that's all about. And there's there's also a few other applications, but this pretty much gives you just a just a quick um, example of how the Newton functions. I'm going to put my pin right here, and I hope this uh, was helpful to you guys, uh, to all you people on YouTube. If you ever thought about buying one of these um, Newtons, uh, I don't have all the original software that came with this Newton because obviously this has had a hard reset done on it before, so it did delete the Newton. Uh, the, the Newton tour and probably a few other programs. However, it still does have its default operating system, which is Newton OS 2.1. So, thank you all for watching. Have a good day.